Bo-Katan and Din Djarin are going to get into a romantic relationship. <laughs> Now online, I see that reaction from some people, but it seems that a lot of people are actually down for this idea. That's why I'm here. It actually seems to be a positive shipping for once. You know, unlike maybe uh, Luke Soka, perhaps? <gasps> you need to leave. No? Uh, oh. Okay. Well, anyhow, I'm totally down for a relationship between Din and Bo. I think they would make a great couple, a great power couple. And I have reason to believe that there is a really high chance of this actually happening with a lot of fingers pointing towards that and a lot of the actions and facial expressions specifically Bo was making during the most recent episode of The Mandalorian. So first, let's go over the evidence. So Din gets, Din gets trapped by the General Grievous knockoff looking monster and Grogu has to head out out of the mines of Mandalore and retreat back to Kale Mala to go to bo -Katan. Now, what reason does bo have to actually go and help out Din? I mean, she is just risking her life to have to go back and, and do it, and she has no problem doing it. As soon as this situation is explained to her, she books it in her starfighter right to Mandalore to go save Din. I mean, if that doesn't scream, she at least cares for Din. I don't know what does. So she grinds it out and kills this general grief us knock on looking robot homie to save din and then later in the episode when din is having his little ritual thing in the living waters he gets taken down by the depths and no hesitation at all bo jumps and dives in and goes to save his ass out of the living waters that had to be 500 feet deep no hesitation. And on top of basically diving into the Mariana Trench, there's a freaking huge mythosaur monster in that thing. I mean, jeez. I mean, the lengths Bo-Katan will go to express her love. Now, that in itself is honestly like, a good enough argument for the case, but there's still a lot more instances in the episode with Bo looking at Din, making sure he's all right, especially after he wakes up uh, from the General Grievous encounter. Bo gives him a, a certain look. I mean, she even makes some soup for him, some pog soup, and, and gives that to him. And she's even a little sassy with it, maybe teasing him a little bit for never having pog soup, which apparently is a staple Mandalorian cuisine. And after she cooks what I presume to be a scrumptious meal with that pog soup, Din basically is like, well, now I still got to go find the living waters. Bo doesn't give a crap about the living waters at all. Make no mistake. But she offers herself up to go lead him to it because she claims he wouldn't be able to find it on his own. But I think this is really just more so she's, she's concerned that, you know, he might get in trouble again and she just doesn't trust him to go on his own and just wants to make sure that that he gets through it all okay, you know, and just wants to make sure that he can successfully do what he needs to have done to repent for his sins. And I mean, even though she's not totally as a, a strict of a Mandalorian herself, she respects that about Din and wants to help him to be able to fulfill what he wants to have done to regain that honor. He's already making for a supportful partner, am I right? Well, yeah. So besides the fact that Bo risks her life to save Din twice in one episode of The Mandalorian makes him food and looks after him. I mean, it's pretty safe to say. And I mean, the, the fingers are just kind of, you know, pointing there. And I mean, I think it would be great. I mean, Din and Bo could rule Mandalore together help to rebuild it and set things straight and Grogu would have another parent I mean it would be just wins all around they could reincorporate the Children's of the Watch back into Mandalore and Din with the Dark Saber could use that to help reunite the rest of the Bo's Mandalorians who are off doing their own thing now Bo x Din is pretty likely like I think that it you know very well could happen I mean a, a lot is going down in that episode two that is you know pointing towards that direction but on the other hand Bo could just be doing all of this to get the dark saber never trust a gold digger let me know in the comments what the ship between Bo and din should be called should it be bando no let's get this dough bin they're going to the cabin it sounds cozy i don't know let me know in the comments and subscribe for more weekly videos thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one